And our mantra here is better performance, higher quality, lower cost. So as I was designing the product, I had to keep all of those things in mind. Well, my role for the QSE as project engineer, but also the electronics engineer, was to basically take uh, the idea they brought to me. Can you build a mag meter? We've been wanting to do this for years. And I started doing some research on what it would take, did some uh, mathematical sketches on paper, came up with a concept, and came back to them and said, yeah, I'd like to build a prototype. The original specifications on this product were almost identical to the high-end mag meter specifications. And yet the cost constraints mimic the low-end products out in the competitive world. And I think it was a big pill to swallow that we could actually get this done. And I know at times, I think uh, not just engineering, but everyone was willing to throw in the towel that it just couldn't be done. I was dealing with the QSI and when a lot of, there were some timing issues, et cetera. And it, it, it just wasn't progressing very easily. And then I decided, you know, I've done some studying over the, over the weekend and stuff, and decided to put a, an RTOS, which stands for Real-Time Operating System, on the QSI. And that allows you to schedule different events at different times, and it really, that's where I saw the horsepower of these electronics really come out, because now it's fast enough to do anything that we want. This particular one, even though it took four years, there was enough sales interest, there was enough management interest, to keep it going. And I think they were able to see that the, there was something in this product that nobody else had. With that said, the end result, it was well worth the wait. We took this concept, threw it together on a breadboard as we call it the engineering, electrical engineering world, and went down to the lab with it and actually started flowing water through a pipe and, and we were able to actually see something happen. And that told us, hey, look, you guys are going in the right direction. You can do this. The failure with the first iteration was we didn't have the electronics that would allow us to compete with the big expensive meters. Then iteration two, we got the electronics fixed, but we found out we had mechanical issues. So now that we're on iteration three, we've got a pretty good product where both mechanically and electrically, everything's been redesigned and uh, tested out successfully. Well, we decided early on that connectors and cables are expensive. Why ship that with the product? They can get lost. We've got this new technology. We're talking about, you know, higher quality. So let's give the customer what they probably want anyways, which is, hey, I've got a smartphone in my pocket. Why can't I just configure this meter with that? So to that, we put Bluetooth in the product. When we add new features, we can push those features out to you. You get them on your phone and you can flash it right into the meter that's been sitting there for six months, a year. It's freshly upgraded with new firmware. We've had numerous moments or where we finally reached that milestone that we could stop the design and go on to something else. And there's been several of those. One of them had to do with early on, we had temperature drift and Edwin was able to figure out exactly what it was on the board that was causing that. And there's been several of those regarding the design of the product. Uh, uh, the app, when the app finally started working for the first time, we all had a moment. And when you spend as much time as we have, it's time. It's time to finally let it go. Maybe it's like a kid going off to college. It's time for it to get out of here. But the product will impress. And I think we've done enough of our homework and enough of our due diligence that this is going to be a successful product. Well, I think there's probably going to be some naysayers with this product. They're going to say, how could you possibly get that kind of performance out of a plastic meter at this price point? It just doesn't make sense. And to those people, I just kind of say, prove us wrong. I think when we get this product to market, you're going to be very pleased with what you get.